Yo, what's up guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm not only going to show you the best updated game user settings in Fortnite Chapter 3, I'm also going to show you the best movement settings and how to crouch spam in Fortnite. I'm also going to talk about the new best stretch resolution and if you should still utilize Nvidia scaling if your GPU does support this. On top of that, I'm also going to cover tons of other topics and if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And since so many people asked me in the first place how I managed to crouch spam now, you know with the sliding mechanic in Fortnite Chapter 3, I just want to show you guys how to do it because it's actually super super easy. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine again. There's like a secret setting you can actually apply guys which allows you to crouch spam again. So therefore I'm just going to go here into my Fortnite settings and show it straight up. All you guys need to do is go into your controller option settings. I know this sounds insanely dumb because it's for controllers, but there you can see your slide hold time guys. And on stock it should be on something like 0.150. And yeah, if you want to crouch spam fully entirely again, you got to put it on 0 0.010 guys This is the setting you want to change hundred percent and then as you can see you can crouch spam again You have to be a little bit more faster and consistent than in chapter 2 in comparison Because you of course still have the sliding animation like applied, you know Let's like just say that you walk a little bit faster, you know, it's still gonna slide for you But if you are fast enough and you're like really well trained with this uh, mechanic You can definitely pull it off with no issues right now here in chapter 3 I hope that this helped you guys and now we're gonna go into the actual settings video itself so therefore see you in a second and you guys as you can see here we are right now actually in fortnite and first of all i want you to take a close look at my screen and guess which resolution i'm actually playing guys because in fact if we go here into my fortnite settings you can see that i'm not even playing full 1080p and my image still looks insanely good and this means pretty much guys that i'm still utilizing the nvidia display scaling feature you know which nvidia just invented like i think two months ago or something like that and you can see it looks absolutely amazing guys no issues at all and this is like a trick which i've been utilizing for the past one or two months already just in order to gain more fps i mean just take a look at my fps guys they're insanely good and yeah even right now here with this weather going on in the background that's like the only thing really like putting down my fps because yeah that's like a new thing here and yeah besides that if we take a look at other parts you can see consistent 240 fps we're now going to take a look here at the rest of my settings guys you can see here that i'm playing indeed on 1632 times 918 and as mentioned if your nvidia card does support this please utilize this resolution the next up guys my frame limit i'm going to show you later on what you can do a quick little trick to make your game more in sync then we can see here brightness level set to 150 user interface contrast to one colorblind mode still in my opinion try turn up set to five because this looks really really good and now we're going to change it let's say to something like pro turn up we will see the colors are just way more like washed out they're a little bit darker it doesn't really look that great anymore we also can change it here to do turn up and you can see it looks horrible. This is like something like which Mongrel would play in chapter two, I think. And yeah, I gotta say for me personally, this doesn't really look too good. So therefore we're just gonna change it here one more time actually again to try to knob set to five, because if we put it to something like 10, it's gonna be way too bright. And if we put it to something below five, it's gonna be way too dark. So therefore guys, try to knob set to five is really the best setting here. Then we can see 3D resolution set to 100%. But as mentioned guys, I'm using the Nvidia um, display scaling mode. So therefore I'm gonna keep it here on 100 if your card doesn't support this or you're running something like AMD try to go for something like between I would say like 95 to 100 percent you know because 95 still looks really good in my opinion you don't have like that big of a quality loss but you still gain some really good FPS there so really try to figure out something for yourself uh, around like this 90 mark I would say viewing distance we got on medium because yeah for the competitive aspect textures on low and of course I'm playing guys on the performance mode with low meshes and low textures because I simply love mobile builds yeah I can just like form me a little bit you can see I'm playing clearly on mobile builds and I just love the simplicity of these builds guys this is just simply me uh, if you got a different opinion you can of course also utilize other rendering modes but this one gives me personally the least amount of input delay so therefore I can only recommend it and once we actually take a look here at the last settings you can see now um, that of course we have vsync turned off guys because I'm utilizing right now here g-sync monitor especially if your monitor has some sort of built-in sync technology please don't utilize vsync this really only makes sense for like a 60 to 75 hertz monitor beyond that you shouldn't really utilize this and if you take a look at our game settings guys same thing again set your region please exactly to where you're from otherwise fortnite is going to connect you with a server which is maybe a little bit more stable but further away which will result in higher ping so therefore please put it exactly to your region for the rest you can just simply copy all my settings here guys i'm gonna go one time through it real quick here you can see everything of course record replays everything turned off guys this is just adding additional input delay and is super super hardware demanding 
Next up, you can see my game UI. I got it here on 95, guys. It's like my personal sweet spot because if you put it on something like 80, I don't know, it's maybe like a little bit too small, as you can see there on the bottom corner. And if you put it to something like 100, it's just gonna look awful because, yeah, it's just gonna take so much space up. So, therefore, 95 is really the sweet spot here, in my opinion. And the last option guys for the audio settings is of course that you use your song quality on low because Epic Games even themselves said if you got it on high it's gonna cause your FPS stutter. Um, then next up you can see a visualized sound effect of course turned off. I know tons of Fortnite pro players are utilizing this right now because it's giving you a competitive advantage. I already made a full on video about this which I'm gonna leave a link to in description. But personally I would say it's not really worth it considering how much more FPS you lose. And with that said we're pretty much done here guys and I'm just going to show you how to actually apply these game user settings because I get them fully prepared for you as mentioned in my discord and yeah guys what i want you to do now pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my discord where you can get my updated game user settings i try to update them like every three to four weeks guys to so just keep it up to date for you you know what i'm saying and yeah once you get it here on your desktop just simply double click onto it and drag these game user settings actually on your desktop it should only take a second and there we got it already and what you want to do now pretty much is go into your window search bar and type in presenter temp presenter and open up the first folder once you're in here, you're just gonna click onto local, press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and there you got your old game user settings. You could of course try to save them, you know, put them like in a separate folder here on your desktop or whatsoever, which you could do, but I'm just gonna straight up delete them because I know those are really, really good. So therefore guys, I mean, this really comes down to a personal preference, you know, if you like your current resolution and stuff like that, just simply save them, you know, to be sure, kinda. But what we're going to do is just simply drag those new game user settings here in there now, and yeah, we're also gonna open it up, check real quick here that everything is applied properly. As you can see, I'm still utilizing 1632 times 918, which is a really good rest in my opinion. And I'm using it with the NVIDIA scaling mode. So therefore you can just put in whichever stretch resolution you want. Let's just say that you wanna try out maybe something like 1656 times 1080, which is like one of phase model stretch resolutions. So you can just simply put it in there, you know, copy this, replace this, super easy. And yeah, with that said, you're just gonna click here onto save. I'm not going to do this obviously right now because I want to keep the one I had applied before. And what you want to do afterwards you applied all these changes is right click onto it, go into properties and also make sure to put the check here and the AdWord read only just to make sure that nothing gets changed by accident. Press OK and this is how already how you applied the new best game user settings in Fortnite Chapter 3 for maximum FPS boost and low input delay. And yeah guys if we're talking about the best stretch resolutions in Fortnite Chapter 3 I can definitely highly recommend you any stretch resolution which Fate is Martos utilized over the last few months guys. Some like 1400 times 1050 or 1656 times 1080 they're super super popular and good in my opinion but as mentioned if your GPU does support the Nvidia scaling mode definitely try to utilize that one because it's gonna give you an insane FPS boost but you still keep really good visuals which are super close to native so therefore guys for the biggest competitive advantage this is definitely something I can recommend you if you're more on the low-end PC side or playing on a low-end laptop definitely try to utilize something like 924 times 648 where I also have a full-on guide about it guys or something like 900 times 612 those are really good resolutions especially for people who are like highly struggling with fps and performance here in chapter 3 and as mentioned guys please also don't forget to utilize mobile builds in chapter 3 they're finally back since like around about a week i would say therefore they're super good for low input delay and trust me you will see a huge improvement in comparison to DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 because those are literally the ones giving you max fps and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace